session of what has been a fantastic day so far. I think it's been really interesting hearing some of the thoughts and feelings that have been going on in the discussion tables, actually, and also the regionality of it. There's lots of different regions here today and countries, and all the, we're all doing different things in our countries and how we can all work together or work differently. Anyway, it's been a really, really fascinating day. Um, but we're now going to talk, uh, turn to knowledge creation, contribution, and access. Quite a broad subject, but themes which are integral, or perhaps should be integral, to community archaeology projects. As it's already been discussed, we know that there has been a big <coughs> rise in the volume of community archaeology projects in the UK. Yes, the profession has had its origins in the voluntary sector, but we have seen a dramatic shift in the type of engagement everyone can get involved with, partly perhaps due to development in funding sources. But with this rise, the outcomes of these projects are closely scrutinised by funders and the wider archaeological profession. Some members of our profession still view community archaeology with suspicion, which produces substandard results from poorly planned projects, potentially causing more harm than good. But hopefully, mostly hopefully all of us here today, um, those of us who work directly with community groups know that this is not true. And we fully recognise the valuable contribution community archaeology can make to the archaeological record and wider research frameworks. Perhaps as we start to move to a model of community-led initiatives or projects which are co-designed and co-produced with community archaeology groups, how can we as a profession utilise this contribution um, to create new or enhance new archaeological data or enhance existing archaeological data? So really, to summarise, this session is going to produce, uh, sorry, discuss two key themes. How can we maintain standards in community archaeology? And how can community archaeology projects be better integrated into wider research frameworks, from the early project planning stages to the end of project dissemination results?